but instead he's a real skateboarder doing difficult tricks. Kickflip into a feeble grind. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review, the series where usually I would be reviewing footage of you guys today. Instead, we are reviewing Jack Olson's After Hours part for real new format update. When you guys don't submit footage correctly, like this week we had four submissions, zero people followed instructions. In that scenario, instead of just uploading a pro review, we are going to upload an entire extra video. So Thursday, Ninja Review, Friday, me skateboarding, Saturday, another Ninja Review of a pro part, and then Sunday, obviously, podcast recap. Anyways, a link to this video will be in the description below. It's a great video. I've already watched it. Rewind, play. Usually I'm watching these videos blind, but I stumbled upon this one and I really thought it was a 10 out of 10 part. Also something I had forgotten and maybe you guys forgotten. This guy right here, Jack Olson, won Tampa Am exactly 10 years ago. So if there was any question, does he still have it? This footage will uh this footage will leave you speechless and answer your questions. We get a giant kickflip feeble. As I always say, start off your footage with a bang. That keeps people interested and invested. We get the crooked grind. Nolly, uh, frontside flip out. Backside flip, frontside flip, who knows. Falls in the grass. High fives as friends. But take notes, there won't be non-stop high fives in this video. You guys know how we hate that. Catches the mob flip. Falls down on the regular kickflip. Maybe not his specialty. <laughs> Kickflip Mario pops out. I'm already hating. I'm so used to hating when I watch these videos that sometimes when I see a good thing, the first thing that comes out is is negativity. We get a little tic tac there. <laughs> I can't stop. I swear when I first watched this video, it was it was fantastic. Wow, look at that blunt jumping over to the nose bonk, nose grind, whatever. Huge gap out to nose blunt on the rail. 180 and down, look at this, cool little garden everywhere, tray flip over the skate stoppers, they're not doing their job, does the uh, 180 nose grind, switch flip out, really well done, gap across, front tail kick flip, the style's good, the filming's good, look how stompy every trick is, very few tic tacs, we noticed one, look at that, he keeps the trucks from touching the rail, we see a lot of long board slides, and people get used to the idea that their trucks can touch the rail, I think skaters are just getting kind of lazier. At some point, skateboarders these days are just happy they rolled away. It really doesn't matter how clean it was. Who would ever look at a ledge like that and think switch blunt, uh, kick flip out? I don't know, switch front blunt, kick flip out. He's doing it both ways. He's ambidextrous. He's pushing switch. No cop out with the Mongo. Switch front side flip over the jersey barrier. He could have done some dumbass jersey barrier wally, but instead he's a real skateboarder doing difficult tricks. Kick flip into a feeble grind. Skateboarding only goes one way, it doesn't go backwards when you start incorporating wallies. Really good skateboarders, they can do all those dumb wallie tricks. Really dumb wally skaters are not gonna be doing a giant crook across that that rail and then flipping out or, or transferring across or doing any of these kickflip front smiths down handrails. Why? Because you need actual skill to do these difficult tricks. The tail slide into the 50-50 and holds on to it too. Hanging out in the uh, playground, nice nolly crook there on not the sturdiest rail. Really well done. Worst skate spot I may have ever seen. It looks like enough people have lost their skateboards falling underground. The switchback tail around the curve. Thought it was gonna kick flip out. Maybe not today. Big nose slide pops out. Would have expected maybe something more from that nose slide pop up. Maybe a big spin or a kick flip or something. Long tail slide here. Landing on actual dirt and sand and rocks. Now I shove the crook. Love to see it, landing good, holds out on the tic-tac, giant switch blunt down this rail, filmed immaculately. That's where I'm gonna use the thumbnail. Big switch back tail, and we did finally get the kickflip out we were looking for. Where's the banger at, right here? Nolly Big Spin nose blunt, is that it? There must be something crazier. Oh, this big feeble grind. Also, when I saw this feeble grind, I thought it could have very well been a crooked grind. So that is all the tricks. No, there's one more. Hang on, this guy's saying he's good. We get the nolly flip crook. And I only noticed recently that it looks like for this spot, you have to go far enough to gap over this little 
what would you call this, curb, I guess? Little indent, gap, and he goes over it, and we've seen people skate this very spot doing something as boring as a 50-50. Let's go back to this feeble grind. Personally, I think the perfect trick for this angle, kind of a weird way to film this so far away fisheye, I think a much better trick to have filmed from this direction would have been a crooked grind, but then again, I don't know uh, the terrain around this spot. Maybe this was the only good place to film from. Tell me I'm wrong. Is this a 10 out of 10 skate part? I would say 100% definitely. Filming was great. Tricks were great. Trick selection was great. Trick cleanliness, a lost art, was fantastic in this video. And I have very few things to complain about. The guy does rails, the guy does stairs, ledges, manuals, technical tricks, switch, nollie, fakie, flat bars. He's got the whole package. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, feel free to check it out on the Thrasher page because maybe you guys would rather watch this video with music instead of my annoying voice. Would you like to submit footage of you skating for me to review just like I did today with this guy? except he's a pro and you're not? Well, the process is easy. Find me on Facebook or Instagram. Send me a DM. Inside this DM, write the words, this is for Ninja Review, then include a link to a YouTube video. Make sure the YouTube video is HD. This week, believe it or not, I had someone submit a 240p video. That's right, something he filmed in the 1940s ended up in my DMs. Do not do that. Anyways, also make sure the aspect ratio is 16 by 9. I check those DMs, usually on Mondays and Tuesdays, and I can't wait to get more footage from you guys. I don't mind reviewing the pros, but I have more fun reviewing you guys. So get out there, skate. The weather is really good. Make some skate videos. Make sure they're not like just 30 seconds of videos. I'm not here to review three of your tricks. I want you guys to work hard on a video part, especially if you have a skate crew. You can bang one of these Ninja Review videos out in a single skate session. I hope you guys get to work, have a great weekend, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. This video is coming out on Thursday, so what trick am I doing tomorrow? Something easy, it's a vlog where I do a Smith 180, and then I walk my dog. Okay, not the best, but you know what, I'm not, I didn't win Tampa M 10 years ago, okay? 10 years ago, I was sucking my daddy dick. <laughs> Right, 420 in the comments if you lasted to the end of the video. I will see you guys tomorrow. Kuna Matata, bitches. In the arm.